Hello and welcome to iHeart Android videos. Today we're going to be talking about how to run old school console games on your cell phone. Now to do this, you need to download what's called an emulator. An emulator is an application that basically simulates those consoles and allows you to play them on the phone. And then we'll also talk about how to download ROMs, which are basically the games themselves to play on those emulators. Now, enable to, da enable to download these we have to enable side loading and side loading basically means you're downloading an application from a source other than the Android market now of course there are some risks with this but I can assure you that the the files that we're going to be downloading are not malicious at all but I do always urge you to exercise caution when downloading something that's not on the Android market the first thing we have to do now is enable enable side loading because by default it's turned off for security reasons. So to do so, we're going to go to the settings. We're going to go down. If you're on Android 4.0, it's going to be under security. And you're going to come down under device administration and you're going to make sure that unknown sources is checked. Now, if you're coming from a Android version other than Android 4.0, like Gingerbread or Froyo, it's going to be located in applications. And then in the settings, you, it would look a little bit different for you, but it would there would be a unknown sources checkbox as well. So once you enable side loading, you're going to want to install a market where all these emulators reside, and that market's called Slide Me Market. Now to install the uh, APK, which is what the Android app formats are, let's go ahead and search for it. Slide me APK. There it so is. Click over so, here. And right here, see download, click download. And you should get a download. Now, as soon as the download is complete, you would tap that and it would ask you to install the application, which I've done so already. Then, the next step is to go ahead and find the market in your app drawer. Here it is. And next, you would search for the emulator that you'd like. So, for example, if you want the Game Boy emulator or N64 emulator, let's look for that. You would just go ahead and search for it. and here it is and you can see I already have it installed now there is an application called launch me and this one I highly recommend it's three dollars and it's worth every penny it actually comes with all the emulators that you can run on a cell phone the N64 emulator, the PlayStation 1 the Super Nintendo, so on and so forth so you can play all types of games once you have that installed the emulator is installed. I'll show you what it looks like when you first open them up. Let's go ahead and find. Here's the Game Boy one. Now, what happens is you are greeted by this file browser. And this file browser is what you would use to find the ROMs or the games that you would download to play. And, it's, and when you have a ROM, you would just go, go ahead and click on it. And it would load the game. And all the emulators run in the background. Now, to download these ROMs, you can go online and just download them straight from a website, or to make it easier, there is an application called ROM Leecher. Now, ROM Leecher allows you to browse ROMs by by game type. So, let's say if we wanted to download a Game Boy Color game, let's go ahead and find Game Boy Color, let's just pick a random game, Aladdin, oops, Alfred Adventure, okay, that game, Alfred's Adventure, so it would go ahead and download, now since in Android all your downloads from the website go to the downloads folder, download complete, these games are very small so they download pretty quick, let's go ahead and open up our Game Boy emulator, now 
what happened is it asked you to navigate to the folder in your Android device where these ROMs are located. Now, as, like I said, anything you download from the internet on Android goes in the downloads folder. So, for example, I just come here. This is your basic Android directory. And you would find them under download. And they'd show right here. And all you'd have to do is just click on them. And they start running. Very easy, very simple. So to find the slide me or sorry, to find the ROM leecher market, you just go ahead and search ROM leecher APK. and you'd go ahead and find it. I believe, yeah, romsforjoy.com, that's where I would download it from. And I believe the app does cost something. Here's the download. Yeah, it costs $1.35, and I think it's worth it. If not, you can always go to the actual website, and I believe you can get them for free, and then you can email, email them to yourself, or you can load them by USB, just make sure you put them in the downloads folder or you put all your ROMs in the same folder so they're easy to access. And there you have it. Um, let's go ahead and show you a little bit how the interface looks like for these ROMs. They're pretty much the same. Now, I don't believe you can actually save in a game the normal way you would save inside a game. The way that you would save a game would, would be you'd hit the menu button and there'd be a save button right here and you can go ahead and save in any of these slots. And the cool thing about these saves is they can save at any point in the game, not just where the game allows you. So if you were in the middle of a battle and you had to go, you could quickly save and load up the save from there. You can also do some cool things like take screenshots. You can fast forward, which means that you speed up the time of the game. So, for example, if you're playing a game like Pokemon and you're just sick of walking every everywhere, you can hit fast forward and you'd run, or not so much run, but the game would speed up a lot faster. And, of course, you can um, use cheats, which are basically the standard Game Shark codes. And then there's a whole bunch of settings. This app does, and all the emulators do support Bluetooth controllers. For example, if you had a Wiimote, you could use a Wiimote as a controller, or there are a few control Bluetooth controllers you can buy from GameStop or from Amazon that work fairly well. And let's go ahead and show you the kind of performance you can expect out of these games. Let's go ahead and quit the Game Boy. Let's go ahead and open up Super Mario for the N64. One of my favorite games of all time. Where's... There it is. Go ahead and just start a new one. As you can see, it's a little bit awkward at first to get used to these controls, but after a while you get used to them and they work fairly well. As you can see, it's performing really well. Now this is the, the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. It doesn't have the top of the line specs, so... I guess this would be considered a mid-range spec phone. I'm sure on a powerhouse phone like the Samsung Galaxy S2, this would be even smoother. And there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. You can email us. You can go to our website. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you guys very soon.